All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I upload weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. Subscribe now if that sounds interesting to you. Today I'm gonna to talk about what's the best video editing software for freelance. There is pretty much no kind of like definite answer for this, but I'm gonna share my thoughts on the topic regardless without further ado. Let's jump into it. So, totally transparent right off the bat. What I personally think is the best video editing software for freelance. In fact, the best just software combination of all of them is the Adobe Creative Cloud, hands down. Now, wait it out if you're not on the Adobe Creative Cloud, because I'm gonna be getting to, to you know, my, my you know, extended thoughts on this in a second, but flat off the bat, or right off the bat, my flat, you, you know, best video editing software for video editing, uh, best software for creative stuff is gonna be the Adobe, uh, Adobe Creative Cloud. What's my, explanation for that great question my explanation is they've got something for everything right i can build my whole project in premiere i can do my advanced stuff in after effects and i can do my graphics in photoshop now with higher ticket stuff that i'm getting to now you, you, i basically use a combination of after effects premiere and photoshop with almost every project right so they all have different purposes and they all serve you know uh, a, a more efficient way of doing things you can almost do everything in each one of them you know obviously photoshop you can't do loads of video editing, but I mean, you actually can, but you just can't do it in the same way. Uh, all of them are very similar, right? Is, is the main point I'm trying to get across. They all just kind of more efficiently do a different area of creative. And I think they work together like amazing. Like the, there's just flat out no other combination of programs that, you know, work together as nicely and serve, you know, creatives as nice as these do. They just, they just flat out isn't, right? Um, by all means, tell me if it is, but I feel as though the design industry and the, you know, video industry would be using those programs and they're not. They're using Adobe because they're just standardly the best, right? Um, now, this is definitely not the end-all be-all, right? So, I've got people that are smashing it on Final Cut, absolutely killing the game. I've got people that are smashing it on hit film, absolutely killing the game. Shout out to Anthony, shout out to Ethan, the two partic particular people that popped into my mind when I'm thinking about Final Cut and when I'm thinking about hit film, right? Both of them are full-time freelancers. They're, you know, they're doing great and uh, they don't use Adobe, right? So those are just a couple people I wanna throw into the mix just to keep my people who aren't on the side of Adobe still with me while, while I basically walk through my, my, point of, my point of view, all right? So in fact, I actually started editing on Sony Vegas, right? So um, not completely, not like, you know, editing, editing. I started on like, you know, Windows Live Movie Maker or something like that, right? Um, but I started freelancing technically on Sony Vegas, okay? And uh, that's to say this, right? Eventually I did have to upgrade because Sony Vegas just wasn't powerful enough, just didn't give me enough that I could really kind of maximize freelancing and I could really explore all possible uh, softwares. And that's why I kind of en ended up, you know, getting comfortable with Adobe. And if, you know, in retrospect now, I can't imagine not being with Adobe because, you know, they, they've just got absolutely everything. I gotta sit down for a second. Um, and they've, they've, literally, they've literally got everything, right? Um, however, I do think that Adobe is the best combination of stuff, right? It's the best combination that gives you something for graphics, for VFX, for, uh, you know, for more composition-based stuff, more just simple chops and cuts like, uh, you know, Premiere suits. Oh, sorry, I had to take a sip of water. But essentially, if you suck with Adobe, by all means, that's no problem at all. Um, <laughs> You could use anything else. Uh, my conclusion to this subject topic here, right, is more of a rambly one, this one. Just kind of sharing my thoughts, right? Uh, but my conclusion to this is that you can use any editor you want. It's literally whatever editor you're the best with, obviously, because if you're the best with that editor, it means you're gonna be able to produce the best work, which means the client's gonna like you the most, which means they're gonna pay you. And, and you know, overall, if you are, you know, using the editor that you are actually best with, you'll maximize the amount of clients you're bringing in, therefore maximizing the amount of money you're making, therefore maximizing your freelance career. So, you know, it doesn't make much sense to use any, ed any editor that you're not the best with, but also you have to be strategic, right? I remember at a certain point, I went from Sony Vegas, this is the same point I'm talking about, right? I went from Sony Vegas and I started using Premiere. Now, there was a, pe a period of time where I still had to edit some projects in Sony Vegas because I would realize that, you know what, they're paying me, you know, at the time, maybe a big project for me was like $100 or something like that. And I'm thinking, I, you know, I, I can't edit it as efficiently in Premiere. They're used to a certain type of quality. You know, I, I've got to keep editing this, this project for this person in Sony Vegas until my skill level in Premiere is adequate, if not, you know, above my Sony Vegas skill level, which obviously rapidly it became because I learned Premiere and, you know, just got comfortable with the layout and, you know, 
to be real, you know, now I'll say it again in retrospect, I can't imagine doing any projects in Sony Vegas. And uh, honestly, I mean, there's still some stuff where editors, some editors can be more useful. Like Sony Vegas, honestly, for just basic YouTube video editing is great. It's a really good editor. Honestly, like if you're just a YouTuber, hey, fucking stay in Sony Vegas. Screw it. You know what I mean? But if you're entering this freelance realm, honestly, investing in the Adobe Creative Cloud is, uh, is hands down just that an investment and a worthwhile one at that. Now, the other argument for not getting the Creative Cloud is the money, right? Totally acceptable. Personally, I've been freelancing for a while. I only just started paying for the Adobe Creative Cloud, let's say recently, right? So before that, uh, you know, I won't spell it out for fear that I might get my video taken out or something, but you know, I was acquiring it, uh, you know, um, back alleyway, right? So, hey, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna spell it out for you, but you know, if you can't afford the programs, I've heard there's ways that you could potentially get those for yourself uh, without paying. Uh, <laughs> but I wouldn't advise that, to be honest, I, I would actually advise that. If you're broke, fucking don't spend your fucking, your rent money on, on a program, fucking crack that shit. A fair play to you, you know what I mean? I'm just saying that's totally a valid thing for people who can't afford it to do. Totally acceptable, especially if you're not making any money off of it yet, whatever the case may be. But for my veteran freelancers, for my seasoned freelancers, I would 100% start urging you guys, uh, you know, towards the Adobe Creative Cloud. And uh, at the end of the day, not a spokesperson for the Adobe Creative Cloud. I don't even think I have my fucking affiliate link set up. Maybe by the time this video drops, I will. I think I tried to set it up and it was a little bit uh, awkward to do or something, or they fucking never emailed me my confirmation and then I just, you know, left it. But, um, <laughs> The point I'm trying to get across is I'm not directly benefiting from telling you guys to go to the Adobe Creative Cloud. What I'm really doing is just conveying how actually pleased I've been from converting. But in conclusion, this is the best video editing software for freelance and I wanna end it off with a clear POV on this subject. And my clear POV on this subject is that use whatever editor you're best with because you know, obviously you're gonna produce the best result leading to you, be, you know, being the best version of yourself in terms of a freelancer with that program. So 100% go ahead and you know, the best video editing software for freelance is whatever software you are best with, period. So take that into account. Of course, if you're using some random dodgy, you know, fucking <laughs> Windows Live Movie Maker, right? If you're using Windows Live Movie Maker, you should probably be trying to upgrade to something better. But at the end of the day, you know, if you're using the Sony Vegas uh, uh, Final Cut, whatever the case may be, you're probably smashing it as it is. And uh, you know, you can upgrade or not upgrade as you see fit, my friend. The best video editing software for freelance is whatever video editing software you are best with. Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack. If you're new here, subscribe for weekly content based around video editing, videography, and how to make money making videos. There is a tripod falling over because I pushed it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.